My daughter Sarah started attending Uniting Care about seven years ago and she honestly hasn't stopped learning. I have seen so much progress. Some of our most recent goals for Sarah have been her health and fitness. So with Uniting Care, twice a week now she attends a gym. She's on the treadmill, she's on the rowing boat and she comes home and she tells me how many minutes she did on the treadmill and it's wonderful for her because she's just loving it. Uniting Care found a cafe and the owner of the cafe is an amazing woman who was prepared to give Sarah the opportunity to participate in the cafe setting. She enjoys going there, she's mixing with members of the public and she's working. When my other daughter is going to work, I'm able to say to Sarah, well, today you're going to work. And she doesn't show a bit inside, she has to feel good about that. Nice, Sarah, thank you so much. I have to say that it's the support workers at Uniting Care that makes Sarah so happy. And that's who she comes home and talks about in the afternoon. She tells me about the staff, she tells me what they've said, and that means everything. Ten, all the way up. I see Sarah attending Uniting Care into the future. That would be her dream and my dream. There's been a lot of changes with the NDIS rolling out in Australia and Uniting Care are keeping up with those changes and it's for the benefit of everyone attending. Eight years ago, if someone had told me that Sarah would have been participating as a member of the group, I wouldn't have believed them. She is so happy and her happiness means everything. And eight years ago, she wasn't happy and she is today. I've been working with Ethan for five months. He's just a cool dude. You know, he's a cool 21-year-old. Um, we have fun. The work we do with Ethan is all developmental. We teach him a lot of social skills, and he's really picking up on them and improving. Ethan has, has a passion for technical stuff like iPads and iPhones, and Ethan chose the, the goal to, to go to Apple for training sessions. So he wanted to not just learn about different products and how to use them better, but interact with people and socialise with other people too. Straight from the beginning, one of his goals was to, to get some kind of work. And we went to Coles, explained what Ethan's goal was, and then the week after that, he had his shirt and his badge and he was into it. Whatever goals Ethan comes up with, we'll try and help him along to, to achieve them. As a sport worker, working with United Care, we give them quite a bit of freedom to how we work. And we, we have a saying as support workers that we're, we're striving to do ourselves out of a job. I'll support this young man, Ethan, to become more independent. And hopefully one day, he won't need me or anybody else. He'll be out there by himself doing his own thing in the community, which is awesome to see.